This is Beatdown Dungeon. It's a brand new indie game that attempts to merge dungeon crawling with traditional 2D fighting. It's like a Final Fantasy fighting game. This unique adventure game is hitting PCs and Macs in the distant future, but there's a brand new demo that's worth checking out. I know you have a lot of questions, so let's crib this. So it's like Dissidia? Yeah, I guess that Final Fantasy fighting game I mentioned already exists. This isn't anything like Dissidia. It's a lot more straightforward when it comes to both dungeon crawling and 2D fighting. The accurate analogy is Final Lap Twin, a mostly forgotten TurboGrafx-16 game that played out exactly like an old-school 8-bit role-playing game. It was a baffling mashup at the time, but it actually worked. You wandered around an overhead map and got into random battles, which were played out through a series of fast-paced races, of course. Beatdown Dungeon takes the exact same approach. You play one of the several heroes who ventures into the dungeon to collect treasure and defeat evil monsters. But instead of getting into long, drawn-out, turn-based fights like every other retro RPG, these random battles shoot our hero into a straightforward 2D fighting game. It's not exactly Street Fighter V, but there are a few special moves and the characters are responsive. And what about the dungeon crawling? Based on the demo I played, the dungeon crawling is no deeper than the fighting. In fact, it's quite a bit more unpolished. We're told to explore ten floors of bad guys and treasure, but there aren't many of either in the dungeon. Most of the rooms are empty, and there are basically only two items to pick up. There is a shopkeeper that'll offer various upgrades, but I found I didn't really need them. There are more than enough health items to pick up, and I never once came close to dying. What would you add? Beatdown Dungeon has a solid foundation, so let's start with that. Going forward, they really need to focus on expanding the dungeon crawling elements. There should be random loot that changes your performance in battle. Perhaps include weapons that have unique special abilities, or hinder your fighter in noticeable ways. Or maybe you collect the enemies you defeat and use them in subsequent playthroughs. Sort of like what Tobol 2 did a couple of decades ago. In fact, just copy what Tobol 2 did and you should be golden. The current demo may be bite-sized, but it shows a lot of potential. I have to imagine that the developers are busy implementing a lot of new ideas that'll flesh out both the dungeon crawling and the fighting. The demo is worth downloading just to tinker around with the four fighters, but don't expect a lot. On the other hand, it's currently free, so you really have nothing to lose. Color me intrigued by Beatdown Dungeon. Hey, thanks for watching our preview. I'm currently hard at work on a bunch of new games, including Iron Guard, Sleeping Valley, Pavilion, and A Quiver of Crows. Perhaps the most interesting news is that I now have the Retro-Bit Generations, so I'm currently working on a lengthy look at the pros and cons of the machine. There's a lot to unpack before it launches early November. Anyway, I recommend you click the subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then, 